Welcome back. We have Carol and Evelyn Camille joining us today in the kitchen. They are with the Painted Pony Cafe at 705 Victoria Street. And we are making Bannock today. Welcome to the show, ladies. It's lovely to have both of you here. Thank you. Yes. Tell me a little bit before we get started about uh, what you guys offer down there. We have all kinds of beautiful foods that you've brought in. Uh, how long has the Painted Pony been in, on Victoria? We opened our doors December 1st for um, customer service, and it's been um, uh, very busy <laughs> since the doors opened, and it's been really nice. Um, we cater to uh, game meats, so we have elk, bison, deer, and um, most of our products are stuff that our families have grown up on for years, and it's this is what we ate every day. and. We're now offering it out into the community and making it available and hoping that um, it's well received. And so far, it so has far, been. people are loving it. Yes. Maybe we can get a shot of some of these foods and you can tell us what they are. Okay, so up front here we have um, our corn soup, which is made with the white hominy corn. And it's a family recipe from my mother-in-law, Evelyn, and she got it from her, her mother and passed down and it's one of our popular items. We carry um, two soup uh, every day, which is the corn soup and a salmon soup as well, which is a broth soup. Mm -hmm. Our next plate is uh, the Indian taco and it's one of the most popular items and it's well known on, on the powwow trail and we've been selling Indian tacos for 20 plus years at uh, Evelyn's Bannock booth at Kamlupa. Um, next here we have our um, buffalo ribs with a wild berry blackberry sauce or buff barbecue sauce on it and it's um, oh it's to die for we have the wild berries in there our salmon cakes as well with a lemon caper mayo dressing on it and a fried quail with green sauce and uh, the quail is something that we've um, put on our menu to replace the grouse that we use normally. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Sure. There's all kinds of things. And then, are, are you just about to have a drink here, or what is this? Oh yes, <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna down this stuff. <laughs> this is our husham juice that uh, we sell on our menu, and we can whip it up into an Indian ice cream as well. Wow! It's the soap berry, and Evelyn um, is swish them. Swish them in our language and mm -hmm. sweat mixed tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it has uh, medicinal purposes for us and it's quite popular on our menu. And we um, just recently started carrying the Crazy Horse energy drinks from the Redstone First Nations. It's a product that is another First Nations. Wow, so you guys are really dealing with a lot of uh, sort of grassroots, organic, delicious foods that are wholesome. Uh, and it sounds like things are going really well so far. So far they are, yes. Awesome. Oh. So Evelyn, we're <clears throat> going to uh, take a look at the Bannock. Now you already have, a, a lot of people have tried your Bannock before. Your, your Bannock's kind of famous in this area, you could say. Oh, uh, I think it is too. We've been uh, uh, making Bannock at the Caliph's Power for years, mm -hmm. since the beginning of the Power. We've always had our Bannock there, Bannock stand there. So tell us, what is the secret to making really good Bannock? The secret is how you hold your face. Oh, well, just is that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the secret is actually passed down from our from my family, mm -hmm. and uh, I will be trying to make some today. I'm not used to making a small batch. I usually make big batches, so hopefully it works out today. Okay, well, let's give it a go. Okay, it doesn't look it, like there's a ton of ingredients. In here, I just have the flour in here, about eight to 10 cups, and we'll add some baking powder, about three tablespoons, uh, salt, about a teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of sugar, not too much sugar. Mm -hmm. And we mix the dry ingredients. So you don't even have to measure for a small, uh, no, small I, I amount. No, I don't. I never measure. You know, if I yeah. measure, I'll probably blow it. But I've never ever measured. Love it. Any that's any, great. Any of my doughs, I don't mm -hmm. measure. Mm -hmm. And here I have uh, powdered milk. I prefer powdered milk. And why than, is that? I don't know. It's not as much calories or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's easier to mix. And then I have an egg in here. I also add, add an egg to keep it soft. Mm -hmm. So I just add the uh, liquid. So there's an egg mixed in that now? Yes, there's an egg. Okay, we'll let you stir that up. 
Uh, you know, I've not ever made bannock, so my question would be, do you knead it like you would knead a bread, or do you just stir that right up until it's one big lump of dough? Uh, just, uh, you, you knead it very little, uh, because, you know, if you play with it too much, then you have it too hard there. It gets tough? Yeah, it'll get tough. Okay, that's one of the secrets about right there. Yes. Hmm. So that's pretty well it for the, the bannock. And then we deep fry it. I deep fry mine, mm -hmm. and that, that's the uh, finishing. It is. We're, I'm just let, let, happy to watch you stir that right up. So then what, how would you do it from here? You would put it into one big ball, or you would separate it into the we, pieces? We separate it into uh, mm -hmm. serving sizes mm -hmm. and, and uh, bigger sizes for the Indian tacos, and, and more flatter for the Indian tacos, but the... the uh, the, uh, for the bannock is just, that's about the size of it. And once you put it into the deep fryer, how long do you put it in? How do you know how long? Just till it's uh, brown. It, nice you can just tell. Nice and crispy. And, it's dark, yes. and then you, uh, what would you serve this with? I see that there's a jam here. Um, what, what kind of jam is best to serve with bannock? Homemade that's Saskatoon. That's a, a Saskatoon jam. How delicious. Yeah. And, and you guys we also make have raspberry jams. And you make that as well. Yes, I make Saskatoon jams. That's awesome, you guys. I think this has been great. Uh, I'd like to try making bannock. It sounds like you have to have a deep fryer, though. That's one thing you have to have. Yes. And then you're on your way. Yes, that's awesome. you're on your way. You can do it in an fr electric frying pan at home just so that you have enough um, oil in the bottom so that it will float a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, so electric frying pan is what we use at home when mm -hmm. we're making it. And mm -hmm with probably about two inches of oil in it and just mm -hmm. fry it and flip it over. Flip it over. Yep. Fantastic. You guys, this has been great. I really appreciate the two of you coming on the show today, letting us know a little bit more about how to make bannock. It doesn't seem that hard, actually. No, it isn't. No. It's very simple. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, and thank you to you as well, uh, Car Carol, for bringing all of these beautiful foods uh, with you uh, so that people have a better understanding. Painted Pony Cafe, uh, beautiful food, 705 Victoria Street. If you haven't checked it out, uh, I think it's time. You guys, thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very thank much you. for having You're us. You're very welcome.